fuck the blues Ain't your bad news, you can trip if you choose While I sip booze on a seven day cruise In Louis Vuitton shoes, with floozies by the tubes The good life, I'm about the good life Live it up for a little while, then go to the hood To get the good wife and settle down But for now, I'm studying down Refuse to allow myself to devour Like when I was sniffing pals Still got trials and tribulations Refinement from cultivation takes patience I'm waiting What do I know? Looking for low Buff and go Trying to die slow Wicked fly flow Intimate verses that hit surface With quick circus But let the nervous Driving to Sunday River right now Harvey's sleeping in the back Hopefully we will be able to knock some stuff off this list today Cause uh we gotta beat Team Solomon. We're at Sunday River. Uh, it's raining pretty hard. Hey guys. We need to find a ski patroller here at Sunday River that can do a 720. We found a guy, he says he can do it. He just did a, uh, a little five. It's more like a four, but he, uh, he, he rode away, sort of. So he's gonna do a seven. Hey, looked like a seven to me. Hibbert's excited. He's he's looking to knock off most old school tricks. Um, God, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Hibbert. Is that a Spraffy? Cool. Cool Spraffy. Love Spraffy. I, I just did about 15 old school tricks. None of them were really clear. Uh, so we're up in uh, Lewiston, Maine, visiting uh, Shea Flynn, a good friend of mine. And uh, who would have known, but they happen to have a, uh, a little miniature train park in their backyard. Um, and we just decided to drive uh, the hefty Jeep in there, throw some tank cam up there, and uh, just give her. And there's some skepticism amongst the, uh, the Solomon team that it will actually count for points because um, the Jeep was invisible. Hopefully the shots come out and you can see us just doing, just doing nice grabs over the ground. But it's actually a Jeep, I swear. Now you're in the shot even worse, but it didn't help. Uh, the van jump was sweet, except for I almost fell off a roof in the shed. But uh, you know, all the guys got the tricks. Flynn's built us a nice jump. It was raining. Uh, I'm just gonna say we killed it. Uh, except Clark only hit it like three times because he didn't want to hike. Slacker. Pathway killed it. Do a double backflip. Most flips on our list. Hibbert is uh, into it, obviously. So we made the call of the ambulance already. The ambulance is here. We're like, it's got. Just let's just do it. Let's let's just get the points. Boom! Double backflip. On his first try ever doing a double backflip, not on the pipe, he stomps it. Holy shit! He got it. We didn't even need the ambulance that we had come over. Yeah, hey, Bert. You did it. You did it. Just went out and he did it. First try. Done. I would have gone for a triple, but I just knew the other team wasn't even going to go for a double. <laughs> so I'm working on this stupid rail, trying to get the stupid 270 on 450 out, and I cannot get it. I'm getting really pissed off. Just getting worked by this rail, this fly rail.
Mike is over there laughing at me. I'm about to go over there and pop him in the eye. Pretty hungry. <laughs> So uh, we are in the middle of the ghetto, looking for random rails to hit, and we stumble upon this crack house with a really, really sketchy rail in the front yard. It was, it was great, you know, nice little angled in run. Um, you know, got to really make a fool of myself and really show how pathetic I am on handrails, to tell you the truth. Uh, but uh, it was miserable, raining. It's time to pump up the volume, all you in the area from suburbs, slums, and ghettos to America. I'm here to break the barriers, unify you and I, cause under one God, we all are humankind. Uh. No matter the race, creed, color, or state of mind, there's much to celebrate in this space and time. So I deliver these rhymes to uplift the mind. Yeah. Spirit and soul, but every rhyme I unfold and I hold my head low and stay humble. Shay Will, our photographer, was just uh, hanging out on the side, getting the shot, as always, but uh, it was raining out, he's pulling the, uh, the camera in and out of the jacket, you know. I guess he looked a little suspicious, the bus driver didn't really know what was going on, and uh, I mean, he reportedly thought that Shay happened to be carrying a concealed firearm. Police! Yeah, we can totally come back in a little while. We got another cop coming down. We got a nice little visit from the police. Nothing to do with the rail itself, just oh. mostly the fact that we had an Asian with a gun. They were very nervous about around nice. school children. Had nothing to do with us sliding a handrail in the middle of the street, but hey, it was great. The biggest shotgun from inside his jacket that I have ever seen in my life. They're searching him. Ah. Cops came by, thought of the gun. It happens, not white. Live in a white country, no big deal. Got patted down, you know. Whatever, it's just another day in the life. This is just a struggle. What else are we getting? We'll be off this subject. Had a camera. Uh, address here? Uh, sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna try a couple more times. Getting frustrated, man. This is not my day. He's been trying all day. I just let him go. Kid's pissed. I mean, I could do this, but I'd just leave it up to him because, you know, he's supposed to be good on rails. And so I watch it for a little while, and I'm watching him, and, you know, he's almost got it, almost got it. I'm like, well, we're just wasting time here, so I'll go grab a snowboard. So I'm hitting the rail, and I uh, look up on the chairlift, and I see this dude in all red looking like Scott Hibber, except he's got a snowboard, and I was like, holy shit, it is Scott Hibber. What the hell is he doing? This is not going to be good, guys. Not good at all. Hibbert disappeared, he just came out, he's got a snowboard. God knows where he's got the snowboard from. At first kids doubt, till they hear the schizophrenic big mouth spit out in your house telling you to get out. Got big clout from here to wherever, tearing it better. Hotter than a kid in Botswana wearing a leather. With a sweater underneath, run your beat, you ain't doing no justice. You crewing those broads with you booing, no, you suck. Your fallback lines are all used up. Who's up next? Mr. Checks, will throw your bruise up in the air. Show me you care about the real skills. Bear spills all in your head, nobody cares still. Check mark makes your head bob with off the head talk. I pull wild cards. But I ain't losing like the Red Sox At crunch time, I got punchlines like time clocks At night I ride rock Watch all the Turns out he snowboards better than he skis You can smoke an OZ, homie, the trees Won't help you get as open as me So slow it down Get down to the schizophrenic sound Check, watch your heart and Bust a three on the jump and I, I almost busted a nut Come on, get down to the 
first try. 35 foot jump. He does a 360 with a probably a mute grab. I don't know what they call it. Yeah. What? So we had the radio request. Sure. You won't play Tom Petty. How about POD? <coughs> Alright, cool. We were, we were looking to have some POD uh, alive. Yes. That's the song. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Alright, bye. Alright, thanks. We'll send you some magazines. Alright, bye. This is the Mountain of Pure Rock, oh, yeah. 105-T-O-S. Jesse here, and a rather strange request this morning, uh, coming from one of our listeners. How are you doing, Sam? I'm doing all right. How are you, Jesse? I'm pretty good. Where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from uh, Massachusetts. I've been going to school up in Maine for a couple of years. Right now, I'm uh, traveling around New England with uh, Blue Gear Magazine and the Solomon Keys team. Um, we're doing a road trip challenge and we have a kind of odd request for you. Okay. Uh, one of our challenges was to uh, request a song uh, specifically from TOS and we were wondering if uh, you could play uh, P.O.D. Alive and uh, dedicate it to Andrew Hathaway and Mike Clark. Top three worst songs I've ever heard in my life, and we were singing to it. Oh my God, that is so good. It's just got so much. It's got so much power to it. It's got so much. It's like got so much faith. When you when you listen to it, you're like, I might be Jewish, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a Christian. Hibbert screwed up the van situation. We're supposed to have the vocal team van, but instead we have this rental car. Anyway, Scott's like, don't worry, Vocal says they got a van for us, we just gotta go get it. I'm all excited about it, so we go get it. So Harvey and Hibbert are about to take off on a seven-hour journey. Is your coffee? Yeah. Hi there, can I get, uh... Number seven, I guess, crispy. Uh, number seven, crispy. Oh, Diet Coke. Uh, Diet Coke. And I need some barbecue sauce. Anything else? Barbecue sauce? Hang on one second. Okay. Barbecue sauce is a complicated request. Okay, 661 at your first window, uh, I'm not. I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Uh, do you have plum sauce for... No, we don't. I'll have a, uh... Number six, uh, crispy. Rings for everything you too. With Coke. What? With Coke. Anything else? Uh, no, that's everything. Thank you. Dude, people in Maine are She's just 12, that's why she's fine. Wonder if she has braces. One of the challenges we have is a bomb drop. We got this little wall. Figured be good to get one right off the bat. Good. Yeah. Not very big at all, but 12-year-olds and 13-year-olds, they can't take big drops with their little knees. So I'm guessing the biggest they'll have is five feet. We got them beat, no doubt. And I got patted down by some cops earlier. We're not doing so well with the law today. Do we get extra points for this? Like if we get most cop encounters should get a hundred. Most points. strip searches. How much is it? Yes. Got that camera off. It's off. So yeah, I just got a hundred and eighty-five dollar ticket. <laughs> and uh we lose 185 points. Pretty stoked. Rad. Gonna have to make it up tonight. <laughs> cool, 
That's it. I like. I mean, maybe it's different for some people. But yeah. Hell yeah. Sure, man. It's got a target. What the hell's the power button? Good night. Thank you. I can help you. I can help. Hi there. It's two hours later. You can <laughs> probably now see it's dark. Me and Scott. What's up? And now we're going back to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little flurry, that's all. So we got our flurries here. We might be drinking a milkshake. And uh, this is from last time. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's from the time before. Killing it. All day, all day. It's now 9.04 and uh, coming up on another McDonald's. So uh, this will be sixth or seventh time today that we're going there. <laughs> trying to find the rental car place right now or something. Uh, vocal. Took a little hike more to find this rail in the middle of some parking lots, I don't know. One of the challenges on the list is to do a rail without a setup. As you can see, there's no setup to this rail. And it's a Sunday River parking lot two and three rail. So killing two birds with one stone. No setup because they had a little flat top on the on the top of it. Just stepped on, got it done, got two things done at one time. Figured they wouldn't be able to do that because I know Clark can't slide rails. I I don't think Hathaway can either, so we we, we got it done. No it. doubt. It's easy. We are now uh, doing some hitchhiking on our way back from hitting that rail over there. So, uh... <laughs> so in my hometown of Norwich, Vermont, we have uh, the Natural Museum of Science. Somewhere in Vermont, wherever Hathaway lives, some hick place, who knows. And we went there because I heard that they had some really nice rails. So we're at the uh, we're at the down flat down curving to the left. Me myself, I hadn't slid a, an urban rail before, so this was was pretty nervous time for me. But I had a great time sliding this double kinking uh, C rail. The curve kink was sweet, except we had to haul generators like all the way down this huge road because apparently the gate is about a quarter mile from the rail. But other than that, the session went well. You know, got some tricks done, got some photos. You know, switch it up at the kink, switch it up right after the kink. Really, uh, really excellent performance from uh, Andrew Hathaway there at that rail. Driving about 300 miles out of the way to return the Jeep. And this is actually your first look into our new vocal van. It's a little dark, can't really see anything. But uh, let's just say this thing's probably gonna get pretty good gas mileage. For the first time in the entire trip, Hibbert sleeps while the vehicle moves. I'm driving, I drive the whole eight hours back while Hibbert's passed out. I I'm not gonna lie, I sleep a lot. I, I'm a fan of sleep, but at this particular instance, he was a sleeper and it worked out very well. We're out in the middle of the left field. Maine or wherever the hell we are. Uh, we found this tubing hill. It's like 150 points or 100 points. 
to ski this baby switch. We get here, it's closed. We dropped the little brown guy off at the top. Got the shot. I am about to ski down this tubing hill. I'm pretty sure I'm on top of a landfill because it stinks like garbage out here. And then again, it could be this uh, crappy little main town we're in. But uh, here we go. Turn around, switch. Switch rider. You ski switch down a tubing hill. I almost lost my head up there. You skied switch poorly. Uh, and we're out. It was great times until uh, my good friend Michael Clark fell, hit his elbow, and then all of a sudden it decided to swell up to about the size of a golf ball. Oh. Clark's elbow swelled up mysteriously. I've never seen herpes that big on an arm before, but any time, any place, I guess. Huh? Better, we might have, you might have to get that drain, dude. Hey, things didn't go too well. Blew my elbow up to the size of a golf ball, and uh, but you know I was all right. I'm in the back seat hanging out, and a man pulls out my camera, and he he sets it down on the on the dashboard. Start shooting a music video. From the Beretta, putting all the holes in your sweater. The money get up, motherfuckers know it better. Rolex watches, the colorful swatches. They'll pick in the pockets, motherfuckers can't stop it. That kid's talented. Unbelievable talented. <laughs> Morning, sunshine through the window. Open just a little so I can feel the wind blow. Bluebirds singing that same little tune, and I gotta get up to get my day started soon. It's a whole new week with a very long list of things to do. I'm a businessman, mister. It's the